Hello, my friends. Thank you for joining me today. Let's spend a few moments with our Good Shepherd Jesus for our devotion. I use another hymn verse this morning. Unfortunately, it's not a hymn that's included in Christian worship anymore, but it is in the old hymnal, what we would call the Lutheran hymnal. And it's from the hymn, O Little Flock, Fear Not the Foe. O little flock, fear not the foe who madly seeks your overthrow. Dread not his rage and power, and though your courage sometimes faints, his seeming triumph o'er God's saints lasts but a little hour. As true as God's own word is true, not earth nor hell's satanic crew against us shall prevail. Their might, a joke, a mere facade. God is with us, and we with God. Our victory cannot fail. In his revelation to the Apostle John, Jesus warns the Christians of Smyrna, do not fear what you are about to suffer. Behold, the devil is about to throw some of you into prison that you may be tested, and for ten days you will have tribulation. Be faithful to, unto death, and I will give you the crown of life. The Lord calls his people to be faithful. He knows the limits of their suffering. In the same way, our hymn reminds us of the foe's seeming triumph lasts but a little hour. To those undergoing the trials or enduring the pain, that little hour appears to last forever. But Jesus knows and sets the limits of those trials according to his will. Still, we must endure. We are a little flock facing a dangerous wolf. But we're told, fear not the foe, dread not his rage and power. We do not dread the foe's power because our shepherd died to save his little flock. When Jesus was crucified, the devil enjoyed a seeming triumph over the Son of God. But that little hour of triumph ended on the first Easter morning. Jesus rose from the dead, the marks of his trials and suffering still visible in his hands, feet, and side. By his death and resurrection, Jesus destroyed that wolf, the devil, and to deliver all those who through fear of death were subject to lifelong slavery. The strong language of this hymn describes the might of the fallen satanic legions of hell as a joke, a mere facade, a false front. It is a startling description, isn't it? But it is true. Death and his temptation should never be ignored. But he is a defeated foe who has come down to earth in great wrath because he knows that his time is short. For now, the devil has his little hour. During that little hour, we are called to stand firm against the evil foe, taking up the shield of faith to extinguish Satan's tempting, flaming darts. We are assured, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. God is with us, and we are with God. In Christ Jesus, the victory has already been won. God has delivered us from the domain of darkness and transferred us to the kingdom of his beloved Son, in whom we have redemption. Our victory cannot fail, and that's no joke. We pray. Jesus, give me courage through your word and help me to cling to you in every time of trial. Amen. Well, everyone, don't be afraid of the troubles that come, the temptations that come, because you are the victor already through our Lord 
Jesus Christ. 